I'm sharing the new update for LTCN, the Grayscale Litecoin Trust, which has performed extremely well in the last three months, four months, for everybody who is aware of this asset. It's linked to Litecoin, but it's not Litecoin, and you don't buy this with a wallet or a, or a crypto exchange. You have to do it traditionally as a stock. So let's go over the daily chart, and I'll briefly go over the weekly also. This trade has been performing extremely well. Look at trend lines, fairly easy to read. And I'll tell you what to expect next with this asset. So the first trend line that we see here is the first one with the lowest slope. Point here, point here, and then we have the initial trend line. The price accelerated starting in January 2024. And as soon as we had a next point here on the MA50 when we bounce, then we have two points and I draw this second trend line that you see here. That trend line was respected throughout. It's still respected, but starting on February 2024, it moved away from it and started charging towards the big resistance that we had at that time, which was $19. 1850 19 dollars that we went through extremely well with big volume and we broke above it as soon as we broke above it this becomes support and this allowed the me50 and the me200 to really took off change course and go up to the right that's what we have seen the beautiful part about this chart with ltc n is that the MA50 and the MA200 have always been going up throughout this period since October of 2023. So it's been a very long time, fairly easy to read, fairly easy to chart, and fairly easy to follow. It has been bullish throughout. So now that we have broken this resistance level and bounced here at this level, now we have an opportunity to draw another trend line. The trend line starts here like this. I'm going to just shift it a little bit. This is kind of a more exponential phase type of move. Exponential phase moves usually end up in corrections. So you have to keep that in mind. So here we broke that level and then we got stopped at around $26 or so. We traded sideways. We touch, like I mentioned, this trend line. Or this point that allow us to draw this trend line and this trend line also has been respected so far this one continues and this one also will continue so this eventually on the way down will become support levels eventually but that's a long way up so now we have this very steep trend line and we broke this level of $25 and we exploded from 25 all the way to 54. So this is an exponential phase type of move. This can allow us to make another trend line if you like, but this is kind of ridiculous because it's a straight line up like this. So this is an array of trend lines of an exponential asset. That's what it looks like. So this red candle allows us to draw this trend line, but I'm expecting maybe that this trend line could, bro could be broken or it's going to be respected. So we'll see. But it's getting steep. It's not going to go as steep as that. I would be surprised if it continue in this trend. It has to go sideways at one point for quite a bit of time in order to allow the future trend line to be a little lower, less steeper, let's say, in order to be sustainable. So, not, so that's what we have right now for Grayscale. Litecoin Trust, we could be in a sideways action here or we could continue on this uptrend, but we have barely corrected. There's only a few red candles here, not a lot of options to get in the asset. If you see a sell off in the future days of this asset, it could be a great possibility depending on how big it is and where it falls could be a big possibility to accumulate this asset that has been performing extremely well and will continue, in my opinion, to do well because of the potential of what was done in previous cycles. Talking about cycles, let's go to the weekly. So like I mentioned, the trade has been doing extremely well 
for those who got in in the bear market congrats because you got the big the nicest price for this move so far so you're many x's up in value already but the potential here is quite important the next target for me is 120 dollars we are at 50 dollars so that's already a couple of x's up after that the next level is 200 then 280 then 360 then 440 and beyond if you get above 440 then we're going higher we could double we could go to 800 we could go to 1200 maybe we don't know so the premise of following the grayscale litecoin trust ltcn was to see if in 2024 2025 we could see a similar move as it was recorded during the 2021 bull market so far it seems that something's going on the good news about it also is that we are seeing quite big volumes here and look at the move that was done in 2020 2021 here these were the volume levels and this still happened so there's a lot more eyes on ltcn in 2024 now than they were in 2020 2021 this bull market is completely different institutions are getting in the asset is litecoin going to explode in value way more than we are used to seeing it's also a possibility so this bull market has a lot of question marks nobody knows how long it will last nobody knows how explosive it will be the good thing and the only thing that you can control is what investments you have in crypto in your portfolio i decided to put a small position in my portfolio of LTCN and I am already above 100% returns on my initial entry. Unfortunately, I didn't put a lot of money. I wish I had, but I'm going to trying to see if I can add a little bit more here before the halving or at the halving and continue to see if for future months is it a good idea to put a little more in this asset to grab a little more return. Keep in mind that that this asset can explode in value very quickly but it can also come back down extremely quickly so you need to be aware of this top the top selection is going to be critical to maximize your return i don't want anybody investing in this asset to be trapped and keep its shares on the way down like this and wait until you know if we come down up to here where most of the gains are already gone and people are stuck with a bad position want to maximize assets and for ltcn it's a cycle play it's not a long-term play you need to get out at the end of the cycle or at the end of the bull period for ltcn and then what you do you wait until it drops to the bottom if it did this twice it's going to do this a third time if it does that I will accumulate in the future bear market in order to have a substantial position and then maximize gains in the following four-year cycle and bull market obviously but if for whatever reason this time we don't get a big correction in Bitcoin and we are going straight up for the next eight years well Grayscale Litecoin Trust will continue straight up for the next eight years and that's also another possibility that nobody's talking about. So this could be an amazing entry long term if this stock does not correct. But it has correct in the past and it probably will. So we'll need to see how Litecoin behaves, how Bitcoin behaves, how Litecoin behaves relative to Bitcoin, and then how LTCN relates to Litecoin and Bitcoin to decide if we have a top here for LTCN or we are continuing continuing to go up. That's the premise, that's the simple thing. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know there's a lot of explanations, but that's how I see things right now. And this is one of the assets that could generate quite substantial returns for investors. Not many people know about them. They're quite risky because they're OTC stocks but once you know what the stock has done in the past and you see that it's doing it right now and it lowers the risk levels and after that you just need to be
confident in your analysis, in your research, and the fact that Grayscale Litecoin Trust behaves a little bit of in correlation with what Litecoin does. And because we are in a bull market, Litecoin will move up and therefore LTCN will follow. So that's it. Happy trading. Continue watching these updates. I hope you enjoy them. Learn, learn, learn. Get ready. Be aware. And I hope many of you can make a few bucks here and there to maximize and increase your portfolio. See you all on the next one.